Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've not been around for a bit. Uh, a few things which I can't really tell you about yet. We'll hopefully find out about in the new years I've been I've been doing. Uh, but the first thing is, I finally got this working. So you know what that means. We've got some of this. And this. So let's get on with it. Right, as I said, guys, welcome back. Got the leaf blower fixed finally. Uh, I build a jet engine, I can't get a leaf blower to work, but it's working now. So later on in the video, I'll do the leaf blower start, I'll go through it, talk you through it, and everything show you how all that works i think it's a good demonstration for the guys that are just starting out it's one way of starting an engine when you're first starting out you ain't got perhaps air impingement and things like that so yeah I'll, I'll just talk you through it later on in the video for now i just want to talk about a bit of the progress with the with the new engine ngv sections all together all welded up tabs for mounting the, the flame tube flame tubes done I'll do a video at a later stage talking about the whole size, the mass involved in designing a flame tube, the position of the holes, why we're having different size holes. But for now, yeah, that's the flame tube all put together, ready for action. I know Terry's working really hard to get all the bits done for the new engine. Uh, the, the magic of video, there'll be some pictures of Pierre somewhere up here of the bits he's uh, been working on. I know he's uh, got a lot of work on and he's, he's pretty much doing these bits in between, trying to fit them in for me. We're aiming to get the engine done before Christmas, get it running, uh, hopefully do a video of, uh, get some of the guys around from the group over the, from around the country, do a video of the startup and everything and the first tests we do with the engine. This, FOD screen, foreign object damage. Obviously it's not gonna stop little bits of, uh, you know what I mean? sand or whatever getting in but it will stop bigger items impacting on the compressor wheel on the engine which wouldn't be a good thing i'll do a video to later stage explaining about the free area of the mesh the, the calculations you need to to work uh, in relation to your your compressor front area and things like that so yeah that's all been put together but before i go any further i'd just like to mention this Da da! We're in the Guinness Book of Records, finally. I mean, yeah, it's really nice to be in the book. We've uh, ended up with quite a nice mention inside. Double page. We've got Tom there in the car and a bit about Tom. Top bloke, Tom. Did a real good job, I mean. And 112 mile an hour he's since gone on and built that beat the record he's, he's done 116 mile an hour I still think there's a little bit more to come uh, I think we can probably beat the 100 mile an hour on the quarter and possibly 120 mile an hour on a, on a mile uh, mentioned me there as the builder and everything but top bloke Tom for piloting the car did a cracking job but for me this is as much about the group about the DIY gas turbine fraternity or members or whatever you want to say. People out me over the years, I mean it's 10, 11 year journey probably. People like Paul East Midlands Hydraulics, John Wallace, one of the, the founder members of the group, the inspiration from Nick Haddock, Mark Nye, people like that all over the world. The other people that have broke records like Andy Goth that first bought the the quarter mile record back to the UK from the States after we beat uh, Chris Cook's record from the States. Um, and then going on to Martin in uh, Martin Green in his brother's uh, go kart, Richard Stabler's go kart, and then Dan Goodwin in my go kart, improving on the quarter mile record. Tom's since done a 95 on the quarter mile, that's why I think we can, we can beat the 100 mile an hour on the quarter. Um, there's Anders in Sweden, I mean he's he's been a big inspiration for me over the years. His bike, he's done just over 200 mile an hour on his homemade jet engine powered bike, land speed bike he's building. Mine, I'm not aiming for those kind of speeds, I'm more after quarter mile speeds, possibly 100 mile an hour. 
uh, uh, just people that help me with, with, with bits of kit. Paul at East Midlands out Hydraulics, I mean, real good mate. He, he helps me out everywhere he can. Helps me out with hoses and fittings and things like that. Paul at HTF Stainless Steel Fabrications, he helped me build the first combustion chamber for my first DIY gas turbine. There's, there's lots of people have helped me out over the years and I just want to say a big thank you. It's been a long journey, 10 years plus. You've, you've all helped me out, you've all not thought I'm completely off my rocker and then you've, you've been there when I've needed bits or just a bit of discount and things like that. So uh, just want to say a big thank you. Well done to Tom, top bloke. I'm sure he'll go on and do much more, build his own projects and uh, be a continued uh, record breaker in different disciplines. I know he's working on something himself at the moment. So yeah, good luck to you, Tom. Uh, but now let's get on. Let's do the, uh, the leaf blower start at the engine and uh, I'll uh, do a bit of commentary over the top of the, the start just to explain to everyone the process and what's happening. So uh, we'll get on with that now.
hope you've enjoyed the engine start blokes you all know what to do like and share click on the little bell for notifications so you get to see uh, when I post new videos I do read your comments uh, if there's something you want to know something you want to see please just comment below there's links to the group the DIY gas turbines uh, group uh, on on JTO uh, I'll be back in a few weeks hopefully with some new bits of the engine I'll, uh, as I say I'll do a video about how you design a flame tube and everything but for now thanks very much guys thanks for your continued support I have opened a, um, I think it's called T-Mill or something there's some t-shirts I'll put a link below so if you want to just help out the cause a little bit buy yourself a t-shirt then go and have a look at the link uh, there's a Facebook page there'll be a link there so for now guys thanks very much for watching see you again soon be safe. Bye.